the top again. Uh, he's showboating. He should have capitalized there. Made CJ expend the effort to kick out. Oh, big time elbow by Jack Moves. And the high risk did pay off in this instance. But Gets not enough. That shoulder up. The left shoulder's a big time move, but unable to capitalize on that opportunity. Nice superplex moments ago. Oh, of oh. course. Hey. Of course, just when I was about to talk about the resiliency of CJ Profit, a low blow like that. Yeah, hey, he can't get back in it with his wrestling ability. He has to attack the guy's genitals. Hey, no, you do what it takes. And here in TWF, we don't call for disqualifications. And that's actually something that I have criticized repeatedly. DQs mean selling the fan short, and that's something TWF will never do. Well, then let's stop complaining about low blows because they're perfectly legal. Oh, goodness. Go to sleep, Jack Moves. Oh, well, at least it was a little catnap. Jack Moves just got a knee right in the skull. CJ Profit going for several covers here, but unable to keep Jack Moves down. Well, I guess you can't keep a good man down. Well, the fans moments ago were calling CJ Profit a bitch in training. I like that. Well, he's not trying to be Crystal. He's trying to be Ashton. Oh, you're a noggy slam. Puts him in position for the Anaconda Vice. CJ Profit squeezing on Jack Moves. And I, Jacoby Jones, can relate that that thing hurts a lot. He tried that on me a few weeks ago in the locker room. I've been stiff ever since. Well, it's wrenching the neck and the shoulder simultaneously and putting great pressure upon the elbow. Well, you can see his shoulder joint being squeezed out of position there. You're no uh, stranger to shoulder injuries, Alex. I Morrow. am not, and they can be more devastating than you would think. I'll watch this go to sleep. Oh, it was a very crazy day back in 03 when Alex Morrow broke his shoulder at TWF. And it still gives me trouble every time the temperature drops below 40. Oh, well, whatever the hell CJ Profit was trying moments ago, it backfired on him like a hoopty car. Oh, despite being dipped down, Jack moves unable to get the win. He's got to string together a few good moves right here to try to beat CJ but I'm before not sure his opportunity the closes up. Yeah, both guys. Oh, come on. Nope, nope, nope. Damn it. Just when it's starting to get good, just when both guys are really, both guys are really truly bringing out the best athlete in each other, Ashton has to come out here and stick his nose where it definitely does not belong. It absolutely belongs there. Sean was wrong to kick him out, and Sean has no authority to do so if we have no disqualifications. What's he going to do now? Did CJ Profit just level the referee? Did I believe he Profit did. Did CJ Profit just sock the damn referee? Come on. Oh, uh, Sean needs to be socked. He's completely incompetent. Yeah. Close line by Jack moves, and look at this. Ashton now interferes blatantly. And this is the strategy that I taught Ashton when he was my client. Well, this is the strategy that Jack moves knows. Punch the guy in the face who's trying to mess with your match. But he's already out of the way. What he did moments ago on Ashton. That punch may have been worth the momentary distraction. Jack moves now. Suplex position, jackhammer, and Jack moves with the jackhammer. But there's no referee to count as Rob Banks chases Ashton throughout this arena. Well, he's just trying to give Ashton a little bit ahead. And, you know, he's wanted to taste of the cocky cover boy's cock for a while. I don't think that's true at all, and you all know it. You don't need to talk crap to just say the fact that if he catches him, he's going to punch his teeth down his throat. <laughs> punch his teeth down his throat because he wants that toothless BJ, but Ashton ain't going for it. Oh, Ashton's a is second. real man. He loves Crystal. Oh, the A-team with a gorgeous double team. Amazing double team, but there's no referee to count what would be a possible three count. And look at this, Ashton's out of there. And so is Rob, and it's just back to our main protagonists. Well, if anything, Rob Banks got Ashton out of here so he can have a level playing field. Well, then that was fair on his part, also. Oh, once again, a very long two. He would have had him if it wasn't for the referee being destroyed. Watch this. Oh, amazing double team by the A team. I have to put my hats off to them. I don't like them. I think that they're queer and gross, but they are effective. Well, Jack moves now. Both guys to a vertical base, shoots him in, missed the clothesline. CJ Profit caught him. Oh, no. Oh, right in his head. Damn 
from you, CJ Prophet. CJ Prophet has just beaten Jack Moves here in Davis, California at Fired Up. CJ Prophet by hook, crook, or screw job gets a win here tonight. I didn't see a blatant screw job, but I'll tell you, it's about winning your match, it's not about winning fans. Yeah. So proud of himself is CJ Prophet. He got himself a tainted win. Tainted nothing. It's, he got the job done. Oh, right on his head. Jack Moves had nowhere to go but straight south on his skull. A pull of the trunks later, and CJ Prophet has beaten Jack Moves. Decisively, I might add. Uh, it was not a good night for the A team, but they will learn from this experience. Believe me. Okay, go lick your butts.